G'day mates and welcome to another episode of the 7 Foot Gamer. My name is Big Red 7 and today we'll be playing Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. In particular, level 10, the Eel Deal. Love the puns in this game, you know. <laughs> Alrighty, now this is actually one of my favourite levels in this game and uh, as soon as we enter in, you'll understand why. Alright. As soon as you hear that beat, you'll understand why. How it sounds so slimy, so disgusting, and really fits this level well. We're in the sewers. Now, all sorts of new things here. I mean, these enemies, you can just put them away. Now, this is a very, you know, core mechanic of these sort of levels, of these eels that you can see in the top right corner here. I'm jumping on. Okay, they, every... So often they electrocute the water, okay? A lot of people that will sort of hate that mechanic, all right? And the water's not too deep, so Crash can actually run through it without drowning, unlike those other plant-based levels. <clears throat> and um, so that's, exa and that's exactly what you're gonna do, just run through when it's not uh, being electrocuted. All right, and we've got the standard enemies and hazards, like this uh, fan, oops, which I can't get through, how embarrassing. And then the bugs. Oh, not bugs, little drone things. Alright, I'm just going to jump over that. Now, I reckon this music really suits this kind of atmosphere. It just, you know, as a child, this sort of extended my imagination a lot. It made you wonder what, you know, was underneath the city and how amazing the sewers could be. Obviously, they're a lot more disgusting and real, real life, but it's pretty cool to so see this sort of thing, you know? And check out this out. This is one of my favorite enemies too. It's a, it's a mutated rat from all the, you know, all the crap that you see, all the nuclear waste you see down in the sewers. A mutated rat. This is fantastic with his red eyes and all that. Okay. So, gonna get through here. Oh, man. I thought I had enough. I thought I could spun it. All right, going back to this checkpoint. And uh, let's just uh, get through it again. Now, anyway, oh, am I gonna make this one? All right, just kill that guy out of the way. All right, so don't follow the one fruit in this case. We're gonna head this other way to the nitro infested area. All right, I know it sounds like a bad idea, but first you gotta grab this box. Because believe it or not, even if you detonate the nitro counter, it still won't grab this box for you, okay? And um, you won't be able to get it by the time you hit the nitro counter. You'll see why a bit later. But um, in this case, in this case, we're gonna jump through the back here to through this level. All right, you saw the colored gem on the front, and we can actually just go back here. Oh, no, what am I doing? Jeez, doing that too much. All right, well, that makes it a bit easier. Anyway, so you go back here, and we're in a sort of hidden area, as you can tell by the change in music. It makes it sound more disgusting and gross, but that's why I love it so much. And there's one of those nuclear barrels that have been mutating the rats, all right? So just avoid those, okay? And then, uh, let's wait for the eagle to electrocute again. Alrighty. Not too bad. There we go, skid jump at the end. And you may want to skid jump on that middle one as well. Alright, we'll get that rat. And here we go, the lovely green gem. It's amazing how you can find such a beauty. Lovely, beautiful emerald in such an ugly place. Oh, jeez, that was close. <laughs> Alright. Um, so we're gonna actually skid jump this because I don't know if I can make it in the one jump. Okay, and watch out for the nuclear waste again. All right, nitros, get out of the way. Okay, not too bad. And I think we're about to get to the end, yep. So be careful, I know I already detonated the nitros already, but be careful, try and jump out the left here. If you jump out right in the center, you're gonna land right in those nitros, okay? Nice and easy, don't touch them. No, that's the way to handle explosives, you just ignore them. Okay, and back onto the main trail. All right, so, also the, these rats sort of hold the same thing as the uh, those turtles in the turtle woods hold, but you can't really spin them that much. All right, there we go. Down to the bonus round. Now, I also like the bonus round because it shows what is like underneath the sewers, all the mechanics and plumbing behind it. Okay, I just love it, love it. Love this level, it's fantastic. I don't know, there's not a single bad thing I can say about it. Well, there is. The, you know, I really do hate the eels, but, um, you know, after several years of playing this game, which you may not be able to tell, I actually have been playing this long, given how poorly I've been doing it, um, 
it's it's a great level and I love it. Okay, so we're just gonna finish these boxes off. And that's that'll be able to do it. And uh, let's head back to the main level. Okay, also I wanna apologize for yesterday's uh, video because the video quality was actually pretty crappy. I had to listen to it. Alright, this time follow the one with free trail. Um because it doesn't really go that far. Um, I had to listen to it as soon as I did it and I thought, geez, I really, really don't like it and now I'm trying something new again and I really want to get it right this time because I, I really do like this level. I just wish I could make my voice a little bit clearer, you know? It's a problem when your voice is so deep most of the time, which you can't really help, it's just natural how my voice is that deep. But it just, uh, it takes a lot for it to be so enthusiastic and, well, I guess uh, just not monotonic. <laughs> it's a bit hard, you know, and I didn't think I'd have this problem when I first started, but you know, I'm already What this is my 11th episode in I've got to finish it now at least don't I? And hopefully maybe maybe if I got some new equipment, but I don't want to blame the equipment, you know I, I think, you know, I spent enough money trying to get it as good as I can and the video quality is Perfect, you know, the only problem is that I've got a minor delay between me doing something and it appearing on the computer screen but the microphone's compensating for that I just need to work with my voice anyway as I probably should have mentioned before we jump down the hole that hole is a point of no return okay and as soon as you see it you see that nitro box all right so if you didn't get that box earlier and hit the nitro box and go through the rest of the level you're gonna be sorely disappointed when you see that there's one less box first up just jump up to you hold under these it holds onto it automatically you don't have to hold a button but if you hold circle you'll actually you know, pull yourself up, which I wish I could do in real life. That is really, really difficult. I really don't have the body strength to do that. Anyway, so those things are invincible. So, uh, invincible. So don't actually touch it. Well, obviously, don't touch them. Um, instant death, etc. Just like everything else. And uh, don't drop onto the floor now either, because um, that those pipes are extremely hot and you'll burn to a crisp. Okay. Back on the grating, let's go through here. Okay, nice and easy, avoid these again. Look, just watch here, it's pretty creepy. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, finish the level. Here's our gem for getting every box. Nice, wait for it. Nice and easy, okay? All right, so next time on The Seven Foot Gamer, on him, my name is Big Red and uh, I'll leave it for a bit of surprises to what the next boss battle is, okay? We'll see you next time.